What's going on, everybody? Uh, welcome to the International Farmer. It is the 6th of May. That's crazy. It's the 6th of May, 2022, and things have changed a little bit on this channel. Um, some of you may have seen my community post on YouTube. I just got to make more time for the family, so there won't be daily videos, but I'm going to try to do like a weekly recap on Fridays. And what that means is if there's not a bunch of mods, we'll kind of just skim over every single one that came out for the week. Um, if there's a boatload of them, I'll just kind of pick and choose. But this time it was a quiet week, so we will just kind of talk about each one. So hit that subscribe button. If it's your first time watching, hit the like. That helps me out as well. And uh, thanks for watching the video. So let's jump right into it. We're going to go from newest to oldest, which means we'll be going backwards from today all the way back to about Monday to cover everything that released this week. So first up, we got the uh, Stone Shovel. All, all this is cross-platform, by the way. We got the Stone Shovel by Maxter. So this front loader stone bucket is a cheap alternative to expensive stone collecting machines. You can use it to collect stones in your field, but also load potatoes or beets. Three different widths are available. The ideal helper on the farm. It's going to cost about 1400 bucks. And then there's a few different options for size. Two meters is going to cost 2000 2.4 is going to cost 2400 uh, That's going to be found in the front loaders category, and it's by Maxter. So there's some screenshots of it there for you. Looks like it can pick up other products for you as well. Very nice. All right, up after that, we got a new map. I'm going to have to check this out myself. This just came out today, The Western Wilds by Alien Jim. This is the same guy who made... Um, oh, why can't I even think about it? <laughs> Gosh. Um, the Western Wilds, anyway. Once I remember the name of it, I can't believe I can Oh, No Man's Land. The guy who makes No Man's Land. This is a new map from him called The Western Wilds. Uh, do you have what it takes to design your own fields, create areas, and raise livestock and build production chains? No neighbors to stop your advancement. Uh, so it looks like it's going to have the same vibe as No Man's Land, but a whole new look. So this is going to be, of course, in the map categories. And it is cross-platform. Here's some screenshots of it. So you are in control. Ooh, nice train yard. That was nice. <coughs> wow, 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 I just had a big old sneeze -a Uh It's set up just like No Man's Land as far as the grid. So you have your number sections that you buy for plots of land. Um... A lot more on it this time, though, as far as, like, cell points. Looks like we got some factories out in the distance. Let's see here. Please note that using this option to create fields will lose the ability to produce stones in the fields. Uh, the map includes two sawmills, a limestone production plant, and a BGA. That's it. Everything else you got to do yourself. 20 gold nuggets you can find. And just like on No Man's Land, there'll be an option to remove all trees and rocks, power lines, and water streams from the map if you want to, you know, be even more creative. Usually there's two wooden posts next to the cell point that he puts on the map. And once you chop those down, it deletes all the trees and rocks and makes it more open for you to do whatever you want. I kind of like leaving it the way it is. Uh, Alien Gem, new map, the Western Wilds, check it out. All right, next up we have the Lizard Roller by Puzzcap. I love that name, Puzzcap. The Lizard Roller 2.5. It's going to cost you 1500 bucks. Max working speed, 15 kilometers per hour. Required power, 31 horsepower with a working width of 2.5. And that'll be in your rollers category. Nice old... Oh, yeah. Push those stones back in the ground, I Yeah. You like it, don't you? We can just pull one for a small tractor or pull the whole set with a more powerful tractor. Which I guess that's not more powerful. But either way, pretty cool. 
Uh, let's go check out the next one of the day. We got the Cow Barn 30 by 18 by Paisel. This is an update. So if you were already using this, it just needs a little update in the change log. Console support. Uh, visual improvements. Improvement of optimization. Collisions have been added to all walls and the fence to prevent spilled material from falling behind the walls. And he adjusted the glass by the window. This will be in the animal pens category. There's some screenshots for you. There you go. Pretty cool. I have that downloaded, actually. So I'll have to update that myself. All right, next up after that, we have the Man TGX Forest Special by HR Forest in the Forest Bowl. All right, this thing's a beast. This thing folds up. That whole back end, I think, folds up on here. Let's take a look at the... Look at that. That's interesting. Very nice. Yeah, that's sweet looking. For those of you that are good at forestry, I'm horrible at it. Uh, but Man is the manufacturer. HR Forest and Fodsbull is the uh, creator. It's going to cost you 205000 uh, It's a Man TGX Forest special, special ability with the short timber... Uh, the tandem trailer, which is folded up and loaded onto the motor vehicle, the toll is reduced and fuel is saved. Ooh, yeah. That is pretty cool, though. All right, let's go check out our next mod. This is the Vultra Slice Weight by Farmar i99. It is a weight. A Vultra 32640kg slice weights to balance your tractor in any situation. A special pin can be choose for attaching trailers to it. Uh, weights are between 320 and 640 kilogram options with a price of 800 bucks, and you can change the colors. That'll be in your weights category. There you go. Very nice. Then next up, we have the Fertilizer Production by Zottledoct. Fertilizer Production. The mod includes four different plants for fertilizer production. You can fertilize from digestate. Produces fertilizer from digestate. You can also do fertilizer from manure. Fertilizer that produces from manure. Huh? I think that was a double typo. And then liquid fertilizer produces liquid fertilizer from water and manure. And those are all placeables, of course. And they even tell you which one does what. has a sign on them to make it very easy for you. <laughs> Lit up at night. Park on it. Drop water in there. Come on. You know what I'm talking about right there. That's going to be in your factories category. All right, looks like we got an update to the Frankenmuth farming map, which I use regularly. Uh, let's see what's in the update. Frankenmuth map change log. Looks like water has been added to the ditches. Ah, viable land adjusted to open up more forestry areas. Contracts for train going to Goldcrest Valley have been removed. Goldcrest Valley has been renamed to Birch Run Township. Uh, lighting in placeable sheds has been adjusted. Added AI splines for better navigation using the AI. Custom crop calendar added. Corn can harvest in December now. Nice. Sugar beets can start harvest in September. A snow mask removed where buildings were placed. Crop prices adjusted for train sell point to make more rewarding and a custom soil map added for those of you that like to use Precision Farming DLC. A new save is not required for the update. Old saves will continue to work with the updated map. Well, there you go, that's even, that's the best news out of it all. You do not have to start a new save. There's the new soil map he's uh, put in there. That's Frankenmuth, Michigan by Taylor Farms. All right, next up we have the Flegel Transport Box by Fabian the Gogogobar. The Flegel Transport Box. This box is mostly used to transport small things. Example for small bales or pieces of wood. It's going to cost you 2500 bucks. Uh, grid color can be changed. Attacher, no attacher, tractor triangle, three-point, sidewall, configurable with color choice, weight set balls configurable. This transport box does not actually exist from this manufacturer. It's just a self-created concept. Nice screenshots there for you. And that is in the miscellaneous category. Manufacturer Flegel 
And that's by Fabian Gogo Bear. Gogo Bear. All right, where were we? We're at an update with the ESC Large Shed by DH Modding. This is an update if you were using it before. The change log says fixed collision, and he added some new sheds. That'll be in the sheds category. He added some new ones for you. All right, then we have the snow plow, the 2.20M snow plow by Pet. And that's a small snow plow. It uh, costs $2,400, weighs 650 kilogram with a working width of 2.2 meters. That's going to be in your winter equipment category, and the author is Pet. A few shots of it real quick. There you go. For those of you that like to clean up your snow, then we got a gas pump by Pregel underscore LE. This is a new gas pump, placeable gasoline pump in the old style. Price $1,500, maintenance $10 a day, refilling is not necessary, and display is illuminated at night. It's going to be in the miscellaneous category. Let's see if we have any night shots of it. Oh, yep, there's the display glowing right there at nighttime. Pretty cool. Nice old school gas pump. Then we have the mobile wood cell point. This is by Joss. Take this mobile sawmill with you on your next trip to the forest. The selling station accepts logs, wood chips, and wood bales. The mobile sawmill will reset to its original located when loading the game. Price is only 500 bucks, and it is by Joss. Credits to Schultz Modding for the portable mobile idea. It's going to be in the selling points category. And there you go. You just kind of place it anywhere you're working. And you have an automatic sell point. You can haul it in your pickup truck. Or on a bigger truck and then you just place it down and get things done while you're out in the forest eliminating that extra drive to the sawmill I suppose all right then we got the farm fuel storage by Cassie Blair large courtyard tank depot gas station for farms or contractors with a large fleet it's gonna cost forty six thousand five hundred dollars fill type is diesel and it can hold 500,000 liters. That's going to be in your container category with the Meridian Manufacturer. There you go, 500,000 liters. It's going to cost you almost three quarters of a million dollars to fill that bad boy. <laughs> pretty cool, though. All right, all right, yeah. Then we got a homemade liquid tank. This thing's pretty cool looking by Tom Sky. It's built on a little trailer. This tank is to transport of liquid. Cost a thousand bucks, holds a thousand liters, and you can change the colors. Uh, lizard manufacturer category is going to be in animals, and it's made by Tom Sky. That's pretty cool. So, like normally, you just buy a pallet, maybe load it with a forklift on a truck. Well, now you can pull it around on a little tractor if you got like a small farm. I like this. Pretty cool. All right, then we have the rustic silo by BK Mods. A rustic silo for multiple fruit types. This silo can hold all crop types, including grass, straw, hay, and silage. It holds 500,000 liter, and it costs 10,000 bucks. It's going to be lizard manufacturer in the silos category. This is by BK Mods. I like it. I like it. All right, then we have, moving on, we got the Lizard Next, which is actually a Russian truck, but we'll call it the Lizard Next by Axeri, brand new. Uh, this thing costs $84,800 with a power of 312 horsepower or 600 house horsepower. With uh, configurations of wheel, you can change the colors and the wheels style. It's going to be Lizard Manufacturer in the trucks category. Uh, that is a... Beast. A beast. Very nice. If you like those Russian style trucks, then there it is. Tough looking. Those wheels make it look beefy. Beefy. Alright, then we got the light swords. This was for the uh May the Fourth be with you. Universe Simu Modding. The light swords. <laughs> May the force be with you. With this pack of light swords, red, green, and blue, you will cut trees like if they were hot butter. Price is $700. Lizard manufacturer. It's going to be under forestry equipment. And you can cut trees down with your lightsaber sword. Mm. 
You know you lock that. I still need to try this out. I have it downloaded, I just haven't got to try it yet. I don't know how quick it cuts the tree down, but either way, it'll be pretty cool to try it out. So check that out right there. All right, then we have the liftable pack, liftable bale packs by Joss. All base game balers and cotton harvesters has been modified to produce bales weighing only 100 kilogram. This is great for uh, cross-platform because if you're on console and you got one of those big old two-ton cotton bales, now they only weigh 100 kilogram. You can pick it right up, slap it on a trailer. Um, spawning bales with the power tools mod if you're on pc that's not going to work so just keep that in mind but yeah it's going to change a lot of equipment in the game to just have lighter bales all right that's going to be in your balers category various manufacturers and that is made by joss do we have any screenshots there they are yeah it's your in-game balers and stuff you'll be able to pick that right up now no problem there's a list. There, there's everything that you'll be able to pick up. The bales. They're pretty much all the balers. Very nice for cross-platform. All right, then we have the Big Bud 747 by Giant Software. This thing's going to cost you $406,500 with 1,100 horsepower. Top speed, 30 kilometers per hour. Big Bud manufacturer, author, Giant Software. And it's going to be in your large categories uh, large tractors categories. The thing is huge. I use this on uh, South Louisiana map for PC. It's a beast. Big Bud, making his presence known. And then we got the Big Bud 450, a little smaller version, also by Giant Software. This one costs 260500 with 450 horsepower, same speed, 30 kilometers per hour, large tractor category. And just a little... A little less powerful, but still hard working machine right there. Good stuff. All right, then we have the Hashbickler Terminator. I don't know if I said that right. The Terminator 18 costs 213,000, required power 450 horsepower, max working speed of 18 kilometers per hour with a width of 18 meters. That's gonna. Then there's the Hotspicker TH, which is the tank. That's ninety nine thousand, and it holds between ten thousand and forty. Wait a minute. I don't know. It holds a lot. It's gonna be in your Cedars category. Manufacturer is Hudson Bickler. <laughs> Hope I'm saying that right. But yeah, it's a beast. That's to get some fields done quickly, if you know what I'm saying. Eighteen meter width works on that bad boy. Good stuff, right there. And then we have the Gregory Besson SPSL9 by Giant Software. Uh, this is going to cost 131000 required power 550 so you might want to get Big Bud hooked up to that. Uh, 12 kilometers per hour at 10.5 meter work width, and then the trailer lifter is 15000 bucks. That'll be in your plows category. So this is a big old plow, ready to rip up that ground, baby. Very nice. And then we have the Anderson Group Stack Pro 7 by Giant Software. Uh, that's going to cost $102,000. Required power, 175 horsepower. It'll do 14 square bales. Very nice. Anderson Group Manufacturer. It'll be in the bale loaders category. So another new way of picking up your bales there. Another style of bale loader. Very sharp. All right, we are moving on to page number two, baby, and final page. Uh, we have the Anderson Group TSR 3450, also by Giant Software. I like this. I'll show you why. It holds 14 bales, 130 horsepower required, costs 90000 bucks. Look how it loads them. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, four. I think, I think it doesn't stack them higher than two, which is nice. You can have nice, neat piles at your farm. I think that's just wonderful. Yeah, look at that. Awesome. Yeah, it's really nice. I like that. Because sometimes the in-game one is just too tall. You know what I mean? And that one, I believe, pushes them out. Like they do the round ones. I'm not 100% sure, but either way, I like it. Next, we got the Brock Audit EV2200-120WR by Giant Software. Massive trailer here. 
holds 60,000 liters that's going to be in your manure spreaders. Lots of poo can be shoved in this trailer. 15 meter working width, 500 horsepower required. It costs just a hair under $200,000. 60,000 liters of manure. You won't have to go back for a refill anytime soon with this trailer. This thing's a beast. Very nice. This thing's big. All right, what do we got next? We got the Unter Krabok map by Derjogi. And this looks just like another one that he made, but I think he renamed it because it's, I don't know. The Unter, okay, there, yeah, Krabok. He made Krabok. The Unter Krabok differs from the Krabok in the selection of the soil textures to be painted. The map was specially created for low performance devices in addition. Updates will only be available for Unterkarbach in the future. Alright, so if you were using Karbach, I'd just stop using it. Might as well just use this one. This is the one he's going to be focused on updating in the future. Uh, of course, it's in the map categories. Small map. Here's a picture of the PDA. Nice windmills. It is nice and scenic. I think I loaded it up on the original one he had, and it looked pretty sharp yeah so go check that out if you want another new map to play around with next we have the silo king feed mixer package by user 555 this one has a cool uh there's a odd looking one in here that includes two latest trailed mixer wagons and a slightly older self-propelled model from silo king uh here's all your specs you're gonna need 75 horsepower all the way up to 150 horsepower depending on which one you go with each one has a different price range, of course, and capacity, 13,000 liters for the compact. The premium can hold up to 22,000 liters, and the 1814 can hold up to 18,000 liters. That'll be in your animals category. Let's take a look at the different models here. Yeah, this one right here is cool looking. It's got like, I think it only has one wheel in the back. Wish they'd show a better shot of that one. Ow. Almost, but I think there's just one little wheel hiding back there that really whips a Yui quick. All right, let's see what's up after this. We have the refrigerated truck by Farmer22. The refrigerated truck to transport your fresh products, $22,500. Uh, you can do configurations, main body color, secondary color. It's gonna be a lizard manufacturer in the cars category. That's by Farmer underscore 22. Very ugly looking truck, <laughs> but there you go. If you want to use it, go ahead and use it, man. Thing's nasty looking. All right, up after that, we have the Dutes Far Agro Star 6.61 by Meyer Modding and Puma and Cali Modding. Uh, the Dutes Far Agro Star 6.61 was the successor of the DX 6.50. It was built from 1990 to 95. It was for time the most powerful model of the Agro Star series going to cost $28,000, 143 horsepower, 43 miles per hour, dying. Uh, configurations, you can do tires, main color, rim color, design color, that'll be in the small tractors category, manufacturer dates far, dates far right there. I think it's 43 mile an hour, huh? Wow, that's a fast little tractor. All right, then we have the Lumpkin Heliodor 9-600 by STV Modding. This is going to be in the Disc Heroes category. Lemkin is the manufacturer. It's going to cost $36,000. Max working width of 18... Wait a minute. Max working speed of 18 kilometers per hour. Uh, required power, 180 horsepower. Six-point meter working width. New dynamic hoses. New detail. New configuration tires and rollers. Oh. Ah. It's dirty. He needs to... There, there we go. Wash it off. Mm -hmm. Oh, too dirty. There we go. Wash it off. Very nice. Alright, we got an Italian shed package by Mickey Mapper. Let's check this out. Different types of agricultural sheds ideal for parking vehicles and tools or for storing bales. The package also includes an enclosure with a gate and a street lamp that switches on automatically. It's going to be in your sheds category and it's by Mickey Mapper. I like the brick. Very nice. 
Ooh, nice fence. Oh. <laughs> oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, what do we got next? We got the American Fermenting Silos by Vertex Design. Uh, these classic American upright silos should not be missing on any farm. With three sizes to choose from, every farmer can select the right silo for their operation. That's going to be in your silos category. We got a small fermented silo with a 480,000 liter capacity, price $60,000. Production speed 3,500, 3,500 liters per hour is what I meant to say. Then we have one with 660,000 capacity and one with 840,000. That's your large. There's your large, I believe. Yep, large, medium, and small. Very nice. You can put Canadian stickers on that. Oh, American. I think you can put some other ones on there as well. I've, I've already downloaded it. Pretty cool mod. Yeah, you know, it's a fermenter. You know, it's very nice. All right, what's up after that? Come on, baby. We got a lot of stuff here. Pig food production by Maka. Pig food production feeds your pigs, man. Uh, raw material capacity, you can do 60,000 liters of potatoes, 60,000 liters of sugar beet, 70,000 liters of soybean. Product is going to be pig food, 3,500 liters. Price is $45,000 with a $15 maintenance fee. Implemented AI helper for import and export of raw materials. Beware, not all original machines can work with AI. Also, feed cannot be sent directly to the pigs, but only to a warehouse. All right, this is by Maka, and it's in the animals category. So a nice pig food mixer. You just bring the product and it poops out some animal food for your piggies. I know you like that. Don't you act like you don't. All right, we do have a farmhouse by Barney. I love Barney, Barney and friends, good guy. A residential house with a sleeping function, price 70,000 euros. Daily upkeep, 35 euros. It's gonna be lizard manufacturer in the category farmhouses. In a nice little farmhouse. I don't believe you can go inside. Doesn't look like you can. But it's still very decorated. Very nice. I like the back patio. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nice snow stuck on the roof. Very pretty. So just keep in mind you can't go inside it, but it is a house. Agricultural Wang Scale by JMZ is up next. This is a weighing station with a pole display that you can fit on any farm and see how much your stuff weighs. It's going to cost 20000 bucks with a daily upkeep of $15. That'll be in your miscellaneous category. There's your little monitor there. Telling you how much it weighs. Get a whole truck on there. You can get your tractor on there too if you want to know how much it weighs. If you're curious, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, that's right. All right, then we got a bunch of updates we'll take a peek at. Fox Farms is a map by Zoli708. If you were using this map, let's see what happened in the change log. Uh-oh, see, I don't like that. A new save game is required, yuck! Collectibles have been added, preview image updated, dark dirt colored soil plant paint added. Uh, road network, map edge can be purchased, BGA capacity increased. Cow pasture gate icon has been fixed. Bunker silo fixed. Straw, hay, bug fixed. Vehicle repaint fixed. Map edge has been reworked. All right, so if you were using that, you're going to have to start a new game save, save if you do this update. you have to start all over. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. All right, then we have an update to the McCormick pack by Agrotron Modding. Let's see what happened in the change log. If you were using this, the new change log says he added bonnet animation, added new rims, added new configurations, rim color configurations, and tractor color configurations as well. I like that blue. For a sharp mind, I like the color blue. I don't know. Some of you might have knew that. Some of you might not know that, but I do like blue, and I think I like that. All right, JCB4195 has an update by Ross N. Mods, and the wheel loaders are simply essential in agriculture. That's why the new JCB419S Stage V has been designed for maximum productivity. The brand JCB is $175,000 with 195 horsepower. Features, color options, beacon options, tire options. I'm only supposed to tell you what changed, and that's improved the weight and physics. My bad. <laughs> Got ahead of myself. 
So if you were using that, get that thing updated, I guess. All right. Improved weight and physics. I told you more than you needed to know on that one. And then finally, in the last one, we have an update to the trailer attach a support by Games Master or Game Master. Uh, when the loaded vehicle pulls, the instrument is lifted up and its load is transmitted to the tires. Usually used in older model tractors with fixed hook. It has a very realistic structure. In the change log, they added the pick up and throw object function. That's in your miscellaneous category. <laughs> Interesting photos they shared with you. <laughs> there you go. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it. We just covered 30 minutes worth of mods for the entire week. So that's what came out from Monday to today, Monday through Friday. Uh, it was a quiet week, so, you know, I figured let's just cover it all today. Uh, in the future, if there's a lot more mods than that, I will pick what I think is the hot stuff for the week that you guys will enjoy the most. Uh, but that's it. Hit that like button one more time. Like I said, if you haven't, hit the like, hit subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great week. Enjoy your farming as always. And this is the International Farmer signing off. Goodbye.